Well hello there YouTubers, got something a little bit different for you today, welcome to my lair, my bedroom, my office, you're not going to see much of it, just this chair, don't get too excited. Uh, I was contacted recently by an online retailer who sell everything from quadcopters to finger puppets, they're called Lightake, that's lighttake.com, see it in the description below, and uh, they also sell camping gear and hiking gear, and they wondered if I'd be interested in reviewing any of their products. So I had a look around and there's a few things that caught my eye. Now the reason this caught my eye, it's like a canvas holder that can also be used as a backpack. The reason this caught my eye is because Lightake are selling it for $15, which is under a tenner in UK prices. Uh, and I've seen things like this in the shop, upwards of £100. I've seen them £180 for a bag like this. And I've always quite fancied one, but didn't think it was worth it. Now, I know what you're thinking, because I was thinking the same thing. Under a tenner for a bag that only costs £180, cheap Chinese knockoff, it's going to fall apart. And maybe, maybe you'll be right. I don't know. I, I've literally just opened this. It's a first impression. Uh, and I do have to tell you that the first thing I did when I opened it was remove a lot of stray threads from all over the place. There was literally a clump of hairs just hanging out of the bottom corner. I say hairs, it was, it was brown fibres, like this colour, this colour fibre. Um, but it just looked like hair, there was so much of it, and I don't even know why it was there. As well as a myriad other loose threads poking out through the canvas and in the zips and stuff. So it wasn't the best first impression. You'd think if they're sending you something to review, they would, they would do a bit of quality control. Uh, but, as it turned out, none of those loose threads were connected to anything. When I, when I started to pull them out, they didn't unravel the whole bag. The bag didn't fall apart, so for now I'm going to overlook that because this is quite a nifty bag. So let me let me just show you the the backpack straps clip on and off like that. So when you want to use the bag as a holder, you just clip these off and slide them into this pocket here. Now obviously when you're using the bag as a holder, this pocket's going to be at the bottom, so you don't really want anything in there. You know when you're putting it down, it might get damaged or it might just fall out. So it makes perfect sense to store the straps there. However, when you're using it as a backpack, excuse me while I reset, well now it's a perfect pocket for an iPad or a book or like a like a poncho, a rain poncho or something, you know, like you can that you need to grab quickly. It's cylindrical in shape, the main compartment, and it's quite large. Don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Yeah, it's quite a nice big cavity in there. You can fit quite a lot of clothes and stuff in there. I reckon it'd be a good a good day bag. Yeah, I reckon I reckon I could probably get clothes for a weekend or a three or four day hike in there as well as uh, like a lightweight hammock and sleeping bag in the top. And you've got these straps here, which you can you can use to, to expand, you know, so you can attach your sleeping bag or your or your camping mat or you know you know how backpacks work, right? So so far it's looking really versatile. It's got a lot of pockets as well, which I like. So there's a there's a strap in here inside with a velcro on it and that velcro is to a padded pocket which is again Again, it's perfect for a laptop, like a small laptop or an iPad or, or books or phones, electricals, because it's going to be behind this pad. You're probably not going to be able to say in there. But trust me, it's, it's good. It's good. I like it. And then there's a little zip pocket, a really small zip pocket for essentials, keys, earplugs, eye mask. Those are the things I consider essential. Maybe you prefer condoms and... Uh, illegal contraband, I don't know, but still, it's a, it's a good little bag. The, the weirdest part for me is this pocket here. So there's this zip here that only goes halfway down the length of the pocket. And hopefully you can see when I put my hand in, yeah, it's a nice big pocket, but because the zip's smaller than the width of my hand, uh, you can't put anything big in that pocket. You're just gonna be filling it full of small stuff. I think it's a minor oversight. They could have ran that zip down the full length and it would have been a more useful pocket. However, you know, 
it's, it's not the worst thing in the world having an extra pocket, even if it does have a small entry hole. There's one more thing. As well as the backpack straps that fit in this pocket, there is also a shoulder strap. So you can attach a shoulder strap from one end to the other and just throw it over your shoulder. So really, this is a multifunctional bag. You can use it as a backpack for when you're hiking. You can use it as a holdall for if you just go into the gym or something. Uh, and then you can have it as a shoulder pack if you're going on a, on a longer trip, a weekend trip somewhere, via an airport, whatever. And yeah, I mean, I really like it. And for under a tenner, as long as it holds together, then you can't go wrong. You know, as long as it, I'm, I'm going to be taking this thing to Scotland with me next week. I'm away for over a week, so I'm going to be cramming it full of stuff, and it'll, it's going to see some use. And then I will be able to get back to you and tell you how it stands up to the use. Wish me luck. Hello fellow hikers, how are you doing? I'm having a nice uh, walk up towards Salaki, up in the northwest of Scotland. The weather's been a bit patchy, a bit grey, a bit rainy, a bit of sun, uh, but I'm having a good time. I'm still carrying this wonderful cylindrical canvas backpack from lighttake.com. As you can see, I've packed it to the rafters. There's about 12, 12 to 14 kilos worth of stuff in here. Mostly clothes, some toiletries, some camping gear. Um, I, I'm never very forgiving with my bags. I always stuff them as full as I possibly can. I didn't want to be any different with this bag. I didn't want to take it easy. So that's what I've done. It's holding up well so far, the bag itself. The zips aren't breaking. And so far I'm, I'm happy with it. It's, it's versatile being able to carry it in three different ways uh, but it used to be four different ways it used to have a shoulder strap and now just coming up this road the whole thing's just severed I'm gonna bring it closer and show you I'll bring the bag too because there, there's something else I want to show you hold tight so I guess you can see here hopefully that's in focus uh, that it's just completely severed both of them at the same time simultaneously just snapped off bit of a shock when it happened but you know it is a 10 pound bag so that's kind of an acceptable loss it's still got three ways of carrying it you can carry it as a backpack or you can carry it by this handle or this handle so so far it's still usable what worries me however is that the backpack attachment can you see this they're exactly the same as the shoulder strap attachments so if they snap that's gonna be annoying because I don't want to be having to carry the bag by one of these handles the whole time. It's better to have it on my back or over my shoulder. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. The other thing I wanted to show you is just this loose thread. It keeps happening. Not this particular one, but at different points in the bag I find loose threads and I pull them off. When I think I've got them all off, suddenly there's another one there. Okay, so. I took the Irish bag with me from lightake.com. I took it on a trip to Scotland for just over a week. Uh, so it has seen trains and automobiles and hiking trails and all kinds of weather. It's a very nice bag. It is a good bag. It, I love the versatility of the different ways to carry it. I prefer carrying it by one of these two handles, but if you want to, you've got the backpack option. Uh, and obviously when you're hiking, I guess the backpack option makes more sense. Um, However, I don't think this is a good bag for hiking. It's a good bag for like a weekend away, for a business trip maybe, or to carry your books to university. It's a good bag if you don't need to fill it to the rafters like I've done here. Maybe, so maybe like a, a two or three day trip it would work, but for a, over a week, I mean I've crammed it mostly full of clothes and things. It's not very heavy, it's only like 14 kilo I think. Um, but the shoulder strap as you saw snapped uh, and then I've had problems with the zip there's supposed to be two zips on this and now there's only one because this one here this one at this side came off at some point I don't even know when and threads I'm always pulling threads off it you know I said at the start that the loose threads made me worry about the quality oh here we go look see I'm constantly pulling threads off of it I thought maybe it's after a day or two it would stop um, but there's, there's, there's another one here, there's two more up here. I'll show you, I'll show you closer up the state of it because there's another, 
there's parts in the back now where it's, it's starting to feel like if I keep pulling threads it's just going to fall apart. Uh, I'm not going to complain because it's it, it cost $15 or £10, you know what I mean? So for a £10 bag it's a very good bag, it's stylish, it's got that military feel, uh, it's versatile and as long as you're not planning on filling it up or putting anything too heavy in it then I assume the shoulder strap would be fine and the backpack clips will be fine and they won't break. But yeah, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep using it because I like it, but it's not going to come with me on any more hiking trips. It, the, the thought of losing another uh, zip or the thought of uh, those backpack clips snapping is too much. Like I'm not going to take the risk, it would spoil the whole trip if I'm suddenly having to lug a bag around. It, it doesn't make any sense to me as a hiking bag. So I would recommend that Light Egg keep it on their site because it's a good bag, but move it from the the hiking and camping accessories to a different accessories page. So I guess the only other thing I would say is that I was right about how annoying this pocket was going to be. Like, you've only got a small opening in the zip instead of it going all the way down the length of the pocket. So I can only put small things in, uh, but then because they're small things, they sink to the bottom and then they're, then they're just difficult to get out because it's, you know, you've got to fish your hand and then fish them out. So that pocket is just as annoying as I thought it would be. I just quickly wanted to show you the loose threads. You can see two in this picture. Um, I'm not going to pull them out because I don't want the zip coming undone. But I've been pulling threads like that out from the fabric for a while to the point where it's starting to get a bit threadbare. And that's after owning it for a week, you know, like just over a week and using it just over a week. It's not ideal. And then we have the zip issue. There used to be two zips, one that would come from this end round and this one is from the other side, which I thought was a good idea, the double zip. Uh, yeah, and then one of them, I don't even know when it came off. It must be when I was walking at some point, because uh, when I went next went to unpack the bag, it was gaping open and there was a zip missing. So I obviously can't zip this all the way over because that might also just zip right off. And looking at this, I might, I might suspect there's you know, some more loose threads that it's threads coming loose that have allowed the zip to slip off. So it may only be a matter of time before that happens with all the zips. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I still think the bag would probably stand up to regular everyday use and it is a good price. So I'm not going to slate it entirely. But I just wanted to give you a close up on the issues that I've been having with it. So my overall impression of the Oris bag from Lightweight.com is that it's a good bag. It's uh, at only $15 or £10. It's in the very cheap price range, but the quality is better than you'd expect. It's not cheap quality. It's just not the highest quality. So it's. I would recommend this bag if you want a stylish bag for everyday light usage, going to work, going to uni, or maybe for a weekend trip away, like a city break or something, you know. But it appears in their hiking and camping section and I think that's a mistake. This is not a hiking bag. Uh, for a start, it's got no waterproofing and second, the, the clips and the zips are not strong enough. You, know, you can't put your trust in them if you're having to pack your bag quickly in the morning and unpack it and then you're carrying it long distance and you're getting tired and the bag's heavy. What you don't want is suddenly for the shoulder straps to break or suddenly for the zips to, to, to break off. Um, but it is a very nice bag, so I, I am going to keep hold of it, and I'm going to use it uh, on weekends or on a daily basis, but I'm not going to be taking this thing camping with me anymore. It's done well, given, given the rough treatment that I've given it, but I certainly wouldn't recommend it for hiking. Uh, if you're looking for a stylish looking cheap bag, then check out lightache.com and get this Oris cylinder bag. It's, it's a decent bag, but if you're looking for a bag for hiking, get something else. So I've filled the main compartment for your viewing pleasure. Just so you see what it looks like when it's not floppy. Yeah, it's quite turgid right now. Hey, uh, let's see how much stuff I fit in it. Oh, uh, bottle of whiskey. Made that two bottles of whiskey. And. A bottle of Baileys. 
bottle of wine. Make that two bottles of wine. Three bottles of wine. And one more bottle of wine. So yeah, I mean, perfectly good weekend bag, don't you think?